What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday. Today I am going to be doing something that I have needed to do for a while. I don't know about you, but when I go thrifting, which is a lot, I always see these items that are so cute except for one little thing that would make it fit me better, that would be cuter, that, you know, I say in my head, you know, I'm gonna buy this and then I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna fix it and it's gonna be the best thing ever. And instead of doing that, I buy it and I take it home and I put it on this stack on my dresser of things to be fixed and it never gets fixed. So today's project is actually making the alterations on all of these thrifted pieces that I have been talking about for a while so that they are wearable and that they're cute. Disclaimer, I am not uh, a seamstress. <laughs> I know how to sew, I've sewn a lot of different things, but I definitely just kind of do it randomly. Whatever works, works, and I'm not a perfectionist, so I'm just gonna mess around with these clothes, not using any patterns. That's okay, I'm just gonna do it my way, and it's gonna turn out great, because if you have a confident attitude, and, well, that's not necessarily true. It could turn out terribly, even if I'm confident. So let's go ahead and look at all of these clothes. Okay, the first thing is probably gonna be one of the hardest. I always do this to myself, and it never works, and I'm not sure why I keep trying, but we're gonna do it again. I bought this pair of denim shorts, from Goodwill and they are adorable. They're Gap 29 waist and they're a high rise four inch short. They're adorable and I love them and I, I thought my waist was 29 inches um, and then I, I didn't try them on at the store because I was like, oh yeah, these are gonna fit and then I brought them home and they're too big so I need to remeasure myself or something. Basically, I'm gonna try to take in the waist somewhere and I've done this before with darts um, and that's never really worked. So we're gonna experiment. I have some ideas, but we're gonna see if we can bring in the waist of these a little bit and make them fit a little bit better. The plan is to cut out the triangle and then bring it together to bring in the sides. And I'm gonna go with the seam. So hopefully it looks seamless. <laughs> So after I cut the V that's in line with the seam on the side of the pants, I ended up using quilting thread and stitching the two sides back together. I chose to use quilting thread because it's a lot stronger than regular thread, and since these are pants, I don't want these seams ripping out. After I sewed it up with quilting thread, I used blue embroidery floss that was the same color as denim to whip stitch over top of the white quilting thread to kind of cover it up and it ended up looking very seamless, so I'm very happy with how that turned out. I also ended up doing this in the back of the pants, and I detached the top of the back belt loop, uh, cut the V along with the seam, sewed it up with the quilting thread, then covered it up with embroidery floss, and then reattached the belt loop on top, and I think this really helped with the fit of the pants. Shorts are done. Pretty happy with it, honestly. This is first time I've taken in shorts that actually looked decent, so I think it's a win. Item number two is this white shirt that is super adorable. It is from H&M and it's a small and it's just like this really cute little white shirt with these like ruffly sleeves and super cute eyelet lace on the front. The only problem is there's no lining under the eyelet lace part. So <laughs> it's literally completely see-through. I never wear white and it's been like a recent thing of mine to want to wear light colors. Super weird. But I tried this on at Goodwill and it fit really cute. And I was like, I kind of want to buy this and just like sew a lining, which I've never done. No idea how to do, but I was like, this is cute. So I bought it. Went to Walmart and I bought a fat quarter of just plain white fabric, washed it, and then ironed it because it's going to be a wrinkly mess. So then what I did is laid it out on my shirt with my shirt being inside out. And this shirt has a seam at the top where the lace part was sewn to the part that's not lace. I folded over the edge of my fat quarter fabric, sewed along the top to seal off the edges. And now I'm gonna line that hem section up with the little seam at the top of the shirt. I'm going to pin it and then stitch that together. You could use your sewing machine or hand stitching for this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hand stitch it just because I feel like I'll be able to get more precisely where I want the seam to be. I'm not as comfortable maneuvering around other seams with a sewing machine. I'm gonna start on this side here and I'm just gonna stitch across this seam with my quilting thread and I'm going to be using something called a whip stitch and you're just gonna continue this all the way across. Okay, I sewed across the top with my whip stitch. And now all I'm gonna do is fit to the armholes. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just gonna bend the fabric over and whip stitch across on both sides, cut off the excess. So I trimmed the bottom and I'm going to hem the bottom at the level of the thicker part of the lace. Sewed up the left side here, top one armpit. I need to do this other armpit and then do this side. But because the bottom of the shirt is wider, um, I actually don't have enough fabric here. So I'm gonna use the part that I trimmed off the bottom. I'm just gonna sew it along here, iron it, flip it over, and then use it to cover this. is this dress that I bought mainly for the material because I was like, this is adorable. It is from Shein or Shine or whatever that website is. That's basically terrible. <laughs> I would never buy anything from that website, but I bought it from Goodwill and it was already from Shein. So this really cute little dress with this little ruffle in the front and I didn't try it on. That's dangerous. It's just really short and it goes up way too high in the front with the ruffle. I'm thinking I might make it into a peplum shirt because the top part fits pretty well and then I've got this little ruffle situation so maybe deconstructing it and making it into like a peplum top would be cute. Okay, so I cut off the skirt of the dress. I put it on first and I put pins in the waistline where it fell on my waist where I wanted it to have the peplum uh, bottom. Then I cut the skirt and at first I started cutting the ruffle off but then I decided to leave about two inches to fold down to kind of like make a waistband situation. Fold this down, make kind of a waistband and then sew it along where the pins are to make the peplum top. And I'm not sure if I need to take in the sides or not. Yes, you Okay, I just finished sewing the top. Really love it. It's like super flowy. I love the checkers. Honestly, like super comfy. It wasn't that hard. It was a little hard. I had to rip it out quite a few times in the waistband. But what I ended up doing is just top stitching across the top and then across the bottom. The hardest part was making sure like it didn't catch any of the lining. I really love it, I'm really excited. I didn't know if this project was gonna turn out, but I think it's really cute and wearing it with my new shorts that I took in. So a whole thrifted upcycled outfit. Okay, next project is this lace shirt, which obviously I'm not just gonna be wearing this around. I was kind of thinking this could be like a swimsuit cover up. I don't really know why, but I always buy like beachy clothes <laughs> at the thrift store. I'm like, oh, this will be so cute for the beach. When am I going to the beach? Uh, I have no plans to go to the beach, but whenever I do, I'll have a full wardrobe ready to go because of all the things that I buy for the beach. That being said, this was so unique and cute. I just couldn't not buy it, but I have really small sloped shoulders. So this is like really low on me. So basically all I'm gonna do is sew the straps shorter so that it fits and then this is gonna be done. But look how incredible this shirt is. It's just so pretty with all the lace. It's from Forever 21 actually. So that's probably why it's, you know, completely see-through because <laughs> that's kind of Forever 21's thing. Okay. On to 
the next. So I have this really cute little button down um, peach, peach, what am I looking at? Purple shirt with this floral pattern. I actually included this in a thrift haul like literally maybe over a year ago. I've had this for a while and I bought it because I love the fabric and I wanted some more like springy light colored things in my wardrobe and purple and red are my two favorite colors to wear and they're both in here so I was like perfect but it just doesn't fit very well I don't like shirts that go like long on me so I think basically all I want to do is crop it but not like too much like crop it at a really good length so that it sits really nicely with jeans how am I supposed to sew when you are sitting on the shirt what do you think about that Fluby? just make yourself comfortable what is this nonsense? Uber, I can't sew if you're sitting on my shirt. You're such a punk. But so cute, I can't even be mad. for a while it needs a lot of work basically on the lookout for like a giant amount of material i was looking in like the larges and the extra larges for like a lot of material of a dress that i could kind of like shape into another dress and i found this pink number which pink is not my color it's a t-shirt dress it's very um what's the word matronly <laughs> what's the word uh when it's like the word I'm looking for. It basically means it's not cute. It's like a heck ton of material and it's made of 85% cotton and 15% linen. It's basically a floor length dress on me, which is ridiculous and I look stupid. So I would never wear this. I'm gonna cut it up, take it in. I'm thinking of like bleach tie dyeing it because this pink is not where it's at. There, a lot's gonna happen to this dress. So upcycling this pink dress was quite the up and down ride. I did a lot of things to this dress. Step one, I laid out a dress I already knew I liked the shape of and used it as a template to cut panels out of the skirt to create tiers. Then I sewed that together and it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have to rip out the whole seam because I sewed it backwards. Well, update on the dress, uh, I tried it on and I hate it, so we're gonna change some stuff. So I did not like what it looked like. I ended up taking in the sides, did not look cute, so I took out the sides and it kind of fixed the whole problem. Okay, so I finally like the way that the dress fits. It's really baggy and comfy, which is what I wanted. It's still hideous because it's still pink, so don't worry, it's gonna get a lot cuter. And I think I'm gonna add pockets. This is the dress before I do anything else to it. Also, I have to fix this seam. Uh, for some reason it like it's coming apart here so make sure you have ventilation when you're using bleach and that you don't touch it with your hands use gloves so now i'm just going to add water to kind of dilute the bleach and let this dress soak i will check back and let you see what it looks like i only put this in here like 10 minutes ago and it's already lightning i am so excited it looks like the embroidery is not which is fine but it is literally turning white. I really hope that it keeps doing this. I'm gonna flip it in a little bit so that this part gets the same amount of bleach as the bottom. Okay, so it literally came out so cute. The tie-dye is adorable, but I just don't like it because it's still pink. <sighs> so I'm gonna soak it in bleach again. I'm gonna get rid of all the pink and then we're gonna dye it. I bet you can guess what color we're gonna dye it. So bleach tie dyeing this dress was such a cute idea, but I just didn't like it because it was still pink. So I ended up dyeing it with this RIT dye that I have, and it's actually for synthetic fabrics, and this is not a synthetic fabric, but I just used it anyway. I ran it through the wash after I dyed it to make sure that there wasn't gonna be any more dye leaching out, and it turned into this gorgeous light lavender with this really subtle, 
tie-dye pattern. I don't know if this would have happened if I hadn't done the bleach tie-dye or whatever because I did soak it in bleach before, but somehow it dyed in this really cool pattern. I ended up making pockets but not putting them in because I got really scared about ripping out the side seams of the dress because they were very well secured and I didn't want to ruin the dress after I'd made it so cute. I might add them later, not sure. The embroidery on the front remained pink even after I bleach dyed it, which I wasn't sure about at first, but I think it's a really cool detail and I like how it stands out. And the buttons are pink, of course, that still match the embroidery. I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch these out or not. I thought this might be cuter with more subtle buttons, but for now I'm just gonna leave the pink buttons and see if I decide to change them later. So overall, I'm really excited about how this dress turned out and it's honestly so comfy and adorable. And I think I'm gonna wear it to the state fair later this month. So definitely very excited excited about how this dress turned out. Here are all the befores and afters of all the pieces that we upcycled today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a ton of fun sewing and fixing these thrifted pieces and I'm very excited to wear them all. Please let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comments and I will see you all next month on another Wednesday for another video. Bye guys. Uh,